yo, what is good YouTube? This is Reds on Arctic channel and in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to get on hardware ban on Call of Duty So if you didn't already know this Call of Duty runs an anti-cheat called Ricochet and I'm just gonna be 100% honest It's not the best anti-cheat But if you're not exactly sure what you're doing to get unbanned You're gonna have a little bit of an issue which is why you need this video in this video I'm gonna show you step by step a full-length guide of what to do how to get unbanned and that's basically it There's only a couple steps you guys actually have to do to get unbanned and by the time you're done watching in this video you will be fully unbanned ready to play or cheat again whatever you want to do so this is arcticcheats.wtf the link will be in the description so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a spoofer to get unbanned so i have to show you guys where to get the spoofer before i can show you how to set it up since this is a step-by-step -step process so you want to come to the hardware id spoofer section and you're going to see only one product here this is going to be trace this is arctic spoofer this is a temporary spoofer and as you can see right here it's currently undetected and working and if it's ever not that means there's an update and it will tell you right here it will also tell you in the loader so a couple of the things i wanted to go over is everything listed here under spoof list you're going to notice a lot of different things you could spoof you're able to spoof your storage drive serials your ram serials your monitor serials your network adapters your registry values your mac address your gpu and your motherboard i've been working in the spoofer industry for about two years now and i can tell you right now there's not that many spoofers that offer this much when it comes to spoofing your pc components when it comes to system and compatibility it supports amd and intel cpu and you can also run this on Windows 10 and 11. Supported games. This does not only work on Call of Duty. This supports every single Call of Duty. This includes Warzone, Modern Warfare 3. This goes all the way back to the first Call of Duty game that was hardware identity banning, which is Modern Warfare 2019. So any game that came after that will support this spoofer. You can also use this for Rust, Rainbow Six, Apex, Fortnite, Overwatch, Counter-Strike 2, which doesn't hardware ID ban, but it can help you. GTA 5 and 5M and Battlefield 2042, as well as Battlefield six so when it comes to keys if you only want to get unbanned once go ahead and get the one day key if you are a cheater and you're going to continue to cheat all the time when it comes to ricochet you might not get banned instantly if you're cheating but if you get reported enough because it works on a report system and an overlay system you might want to consider getting the 30 day key so you're able to come back and re-spoof if you are cheating on the game if you were falsely banned go ahead and get the one day key and you'll be just fine all right so once you guys choose your key go ahead and check out in order to allow the spoofer to download you're gonna have to come to your windows security go to virus and threat protection and go to manage settings in here the only setting you want to turn off is real-time protection and you also want to turn off drive protection as well so once you purchase it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to show you all the different download steps you need to do and the pre-setup instructions are laid out here perfectly for you so the first thing is you're going to have to search up virus and threat protection which is what we just did and the second setting is highly recommended download and run d control to fully disable your antivirus so with my personal pc i did not have to use d control some of you guys will have to use it some of you guys won't if you spoof and it doesn't work correctly go ahead and download this and it will fix that problem instantly all right so when it comes to anti-cheats anti-cheats will block spoofers off your pc and it will also tamper with it so you guys need to make sure you uninstall face it and vanguard all right so once again i did not have to do these settings down here i'm just going to be fully transparent with you guys but i'm also running off of a pc that does not have windows activated so you guys might have to access your bios when it comes to accessing your bios you're going to have to go on youtube search up your specific pc or your motherboard and look up how to access bios on this and then follow these steps every pc is different every pc comes with a different bios for the most part unless everyone's using the same pre-built this would be impossible to show so just keep that in mind you are going to have to disable tpm and secure boot and fast boot in your bios if it's necessary all right so once you do all of this scroll back up and go to this link right here and click it this is automatically going to open up a download for you so choose wherever you want to download this to i'm going to do it to my desktop and it's going to download this is going to be the first page you're going to be brought to this is your software updates if you scroll all the way down there's updates all the way from a couple months ago so you guys can go through this if you really want to. I already went over most of it. Just go ahead and click read all. All right, so before I go into the loader and I explain to you guys what you're looking at, let's go over the couple different tabs that they have. So support, they actually have a built-in support ticket system so you could get support while you're using the spoofer so you don't have to keep closing it and opening it once you're getting help. This is actually so convenient. I've never seen something like this in the spoofer community. So coming over to cleaners. If I'm not mistaken, cleaners are based on your type of band and your PC's components. But this is where all of your cleaners are gonna be. So they have specific ones for Delta Force, GTA, Apex, COD, EBD, Valorant, Rainbow, Rust, and Fortnite. So coming over to serials, once you actually spoof, we haven't done this yet, it's going to show your serials before you spoofed and your serials after you spoofed. So you're 100% sure that you got spoofed correctly. So coming back over to games, we already mentioned you could get unbanned with any game using this spoofer, but you are going to need a brand new account. So let's go ahead and press spoof. I'm not even just saying this for the video, man. This is actually so high quality. I've never seen a spoofer like this in my 
my life. I've been working with spoofers for about two years. This is honestly kind of mind blowing. Tell me you could spoof your monitors with this, man. That's actually crazy. So in here, you could toggle on or off what you actually want to spoof. So if you only want to spoof your GPU and say your SM BIOS, you could turn everything else off and it will only spoof those two things. So I just recommend you guys spoof everything for the time being. All right, so let's go ahead and continue and it's gonna do its magic. So your PC is gonna restart once it completes the spoof. This is what this warning is about. So go ahead and click okay. So my computer is now restarting. So the only reason why I'm able to show this page is because I'm actually spoofing that PC, but I'm recording with this PC. So you guys get to see the entire process. All right, so my PC has restarted after being spoofed. And after this, you are 100% spoofed. All you have to do from here is make a brand new account if you already haven't done that get back onto the game and you'll be playing just fine if you guys do want to get some cod cheats go ahead and get those from arctic cheats as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video